In this example, I'm going to show you how to export your layers in Photoshop to create a GIF. Once you've put in all your layers here on the right, and you'll see that I have my boat going across the screen here, make sure to turn off all of the eyeballs except for your background. And here you can see my background is on. If I turn the background off, I have nothing, it's just a transparent file. So I want to turn on that background and have that on the whole time and turn off all the individual frames of the boat moving across the water. In order to do this, I need to open in Photoshop, I need to open a window called Timeline. You will find it under the window upper menu option and you'll go down to something called Timeline here. Just click that. When you see this open, you will most likely see Create Frame Animation. Uh, it's possible it could look like this instead, uh, but we want to keep it on Frame Animation. So you can do a video timeline or a frame animation, but for our purposes here, we want to create a frame animation. So we're going to go ahead and click that and you'll see that what it does is it automatically puts whatever you have turned on in your layers in the first frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the duplicate frame button, which is right here. You basically, it's just duplicating whatever was in the first frame and putting it in the second frame. Now we want to start the frames going across of the boat, going across the water. So I'm going to, in the second frame, I'm going to turn on my first boat. You can see it poking out here. And I'm going to leave the background on. Then I'm going to duplicate frame here. And I'm going to turn off the first boat and turn on the second boat. This is why it's important sometimes to number your frames so that if you get lost, you can find it easily. It's a lot easier than having to try and unclick a whole bunch of eyeballs. All right, we're going to duplicate this frame again. We're going to turn off boat two and turn on boat three. Duplicate. You could also turn on the first one and turn off the, the old one. So we can, we're going to just do that for all of these. Now I can play this GIF. And we can see now that the boat passes through. This speed is okay for me. Um, if you wanted to up the speed, you'll see that each one of the frames under here is zero seconds. For me, this plays okay. I might have to test it when I export it to see if it actually stays this way. But let's say yours was moving a little slower or a little faster. What I like to do is I like to go back to my first slide I click the first slide because I want to change all of these at the same time. I can change them individually by just clicking the individual frames and changing the speed here. 0.5 I guarantee you will be much too long. You'd be surprised how long that actually is. But that is up to you. So you can actually change these frames to individual speeds or if you want to do the entire GIF, you can select the first one hold the shift key down, move the slider to the end, and then click the last slide, and that will select all of them. So then if you make a change to one, it will apply to all. So I just changed it to point one, and now if I play this, oh boy, that's pretty slow. I don't know that I like that. All right, that's way too slow. I'm going to do that again, and... So remember, I'm holding the, sh I'm clicking the first one, holding the shift key, clicking the second one, and now I am going to do 
I'm going to do no delay because you know what? <laughs> that looked much better. All right, I like it. Okay, so now I'm ready to export. I like to select the first frame to start just because. Now I'm going to export my GIF. I'm going to go to File, Export, Save for Web. If we render video, we're going to render video. But because this is a GIF and we want it to play over and over, we want to select Save for Web. It's not going to call it a GIF until you get to this window. Here, you want to make sure that you have this drop-down selected as GIF, um, and that will generate a smaller file. So you can check to see that the colors look right here. Unfortunately, you can't preview it. Let's see if it'll, well, maybe you can. Okay, so you can preview it in this. It'll give you a little preview of what it does. And so then we can go back to Photoshop and we can click save. And you'll notice that when it asks you to save, it has already added that .gif. And so you're just going to save it to your downloads or save it to your desktop. And I'm just going to give this a different name. I'm going to call this example. And I'm going to click save. And then you can check to see if it works in your finder or upload it directly to your Google Drive. If you want to see what it looks like, although you already have the preview option here, you could just click a new tab, go to file, and click open file, and locate your GIF on your desktop, and it will play in the browser. That's what GIFs are designed to do. Anytime they're brought into a browser, they play automatically. So that's how you export a GIF in Photoshop.